Now, I am giving you what two shapes, what kind classify those two shapes for me? Quadrilaterals. Okay? I have four vertices. I would like to know in I've got bolt and side. In the second one, which side corresponds to B T? Daniel got it. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? He's um, on a field trip. Okay, there we go. Whoa, look at that. 100%. Woo! Easy question. Got us going. So, again, if I'm going to do my little trick, I'm interested in which two? B, T. Well, that would be the first and the last there, S, E, and that is C. All right? Very good. All right. Now, what do we got here? Two triangles. Which triangle is congruent to triangle A, B, C? Clicker, make sure you you're sitting there. You see your grade, your score. Okay, good. Here we go. Oh, I don't want to. Good. All right. Not quite as accurate this time. Let me move this down out of the way so you can see the figure. So the correct answer was D. Let me walk you through how I would do this. This is a little bit tougher, isn't it? Um, we are interested in triangle A, B, C. Well, if I'm going to trace that out, I'm going to start here at A. I'm going to go to B. And then from B, I'm going to go to C. And then I'm going to go down to A. So if I'm going to start at A here, I've got to find the angle that corresponds to it. Now I erased a little more from here. So, which angle corresponds to A? I'm going to write down A. And which one did you say? And how did you determine that? The markings. Okay, I know that A corresponds to E. Then I went to B. Which angle corresponds to B? How do you tell? Okay, they're both right angles. There's only one right angle shown. So, D. Boy. All right, and then I went to C. Which angle corresponds to C? C. 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 Wait a minute. What do we need to determine triangle congruence? What do we need? What's the criteria? C. All, <coughs> parts are cor all what parts? Corresponding. corresponding parts are congruent. That means all corresponding angles. I've only got markings here for two. Oh, they're vertical angles. Huh? They're vertical angles. For, oh, there we go. Who's your best friend? Vertical, vertical angles. angles. <laughs> they helped you on the test, didn't they? Vertical angles. So, I've got... <laughs> These two congruent, very good. So, what corresponds to C? C. C. So, that tells me that triangle EDC is the one that corresponds. Now, I've checked the angles. What do I also need to check, Ella? Um, the sides. The sides. Okay, let's do that same trick. AB had better be congruent with ED. Is that true? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Three and three. Very good. Now I better have BC congruent to DC. 
So BC is 4, DC is 4, that works. And AC right here had better be congruent to EC. All good. Okay, so now we've verified that all the angles, the corresponding angles are congruent, and all corresponding sides are congruent. That works. Correct answer is D. So if you missed it, have you figured out where you went wrong? Yes. Good. Everybody? Got it? All right. Next. Same basic type of problem. Try to keep your comments to yourself so other people can think on their own. What? I know. Oh, I, ah, I knew what it was. I just All right. pressed the wrong one. Now, before oh. I click stop and we see the answer, I heard a bunch of what? No, I, What's clicked, going the on? Wrong, I clicked the wrong button. Okay, so one thing, when you're using these, Remember, you got to be really thoughtful about which button you push. It's not a race. <laughs> All right? Okay, now if you said what because the answer surprised you, have you figured it out? Yeah. Okay. What do you think the right answer is? Uh, it's H because um, not enough info because it, M, uh, LN is congruent to LM and JL is congruent to LK, not. JL isn't congruent to ML. Okay. Now, no, I understand I understand your answer. Ella, what are you thinking? Um, because the sides aren't congruent. Right? Okay. So, Randall, you're on the right track. We do have enough information because we know the lengths comparatively of every side, the oh, corresponding okay. sides, and we can compare all the angles. So, that would lead you to conclude what's the right answer? None. None. Very good. Let's oh, it see. says H on this. Let's see how... Ah, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Good job, folks. All right. So when we look at this, again, we have to match up corresponding sides and angles. You should very quickly note that I have got one tick, one tick. Are there any sides over here with just one tick? No. No. So there... For either of these sides, there are no congruent parts over here that you could even begin to try to match. So right there, it throws it out the window. Matt. Oh, wait. Yeah. I just okay. Just question that there, yeah. Okay. So this was tricky. Is Has everybody got that figured out? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Next.